All right, hey guys, so I wanted to make a review of this clone trooper like cereal box helmet I had from back in the day. It was when episode two first came out. You could like order in, you could mail in some parts of like a cereal box. I believe it was like the UPC or something, or there was something on the box. You would send it in and basically they would send you one of these, um, which was pretty cool. It took a long time for me to get it. I remember being worried that I just wasn't gonna get the helmet, but eventually they did get it. I did get it. Um, and it's kind of neat. It's a, uh, it's very cool. It, since it was free, it's definitely not the best made helmet. Um, kind of feels like the plastic you'd find on like a milk carton, <laughs> which is pretty hilarious. Um, but it, it does look really cool. It looks like straight out of the movie, um, just like the clone troopers did in the movie. It's kind of funny because I believe a lot of a lot if not all of the stormtroopers in episode two were like cg so i don't even know if they had any real armor for the movie um see it's got some see it's got some holes for like hearing which is technically not movie accurate but whatever um <laughs> there's some venting here backs kind of got kind of see the cool design of the gray and the black and i don't know the middle part here kind of looks very star warsy um yeah and then there's like a red I don't know if that was like a light or something, some sort of reflective thing at the back, but very cool. It's got some venting here and just a very neat design. It's very cool. Kind of looks like something out of a, vi out of a video game. And you can see the front here. Honestly, it's a really dope helmet. Um, the visor, I always thought the visor was really cool on these episode two helmets and like how the cheeks are sort of like sunken in. It's like a skull almost. Um, you can see the, you know, the mouth a lot, very similar to how the Stormtrooper helmets look. And you can see the top here, it's got a little mohawk thingy. <laughs> I guess that's the best way I can describe it. And it's got a little chin here. Very cool. And they have some little, like, I don't know, some dimple thingies on the side. <clears throat> and it's wearable, which is cool. As you can tell. Um, hmm. it's not the most comfortable helmet and my eyeballs are like here, so it makes it hard to see out of the visor. Maybe if my head was a bit bigger it would fit a bit better, but it also feels like it's pretty close to my head, like these cheek parts are definitely touching my face already as it is, and the back part's touching my head, so if my head was like bigger it would probably not fit very well in here. It definitely works better as sort of a something you just put on the shelf. You can see out of the visor if your eyes happen to line up properly with it, but it's like it's just super, super narrow to the point where like it's hard. Even if your eyes were there, there was not, there's not a whole lot you could see. <laughs> Anyways, kind of a cool video. I just wanted to make a review of this. Been sitting in my house for like the longest time, just kind of collecting dust. I actually just dusted it off to make this review. <laughs> you can see there's not really much going on on the inside. It's very much just hollow. All right, hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. You know, if you want to join the party, hit the subscribe button. It's right here. And you can check out one of my other videos right here. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.